everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this today for you. Um, it is Wednesday, so as you know, every single Wednesday, I will be making a Pinterest recipe in my kitchen, filming it for you so you can see if it's worth making or not. Today, we are making a quiche with a super easy whole wheat crust, that's what it's called, and the original pinner is 100 days of whole food. So stay tuned for me making it, and I'll let you know how it goes. In a nine inch pie pan, you're going to combine the one and a half cups of whole wheat flour, the half cup of melted butter, half a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of milk. I mixed it up with the fork because that's what the directions said to do. And then I started to smash it up um, with my hands, forming it into a ball and then pressing it into your pie pan and bringing it up along the sides of uh, your pie pan. And then as you can see, um, it's kind of, the mixture is, is interesting. It's starting to crack as I try and pull it up. So as I'm pulling it up, I'm also pressing it down because I do not want any gaps to be in there so that the egg mi mixture stays on top of my dough and not um, doesn't kind of go into it and underneath it. Now for the quiche filling, we're going to add our four eggs and our one and a half cups of milk into our bowl and we're going to mix it up really, really good. Then I just put in the filling, um, which I chose spinach and tomatoes, so I chopped up just a handful of spinach, it's my organic spinach from Trader Joe's, and my organic Roma tomatoes from Trader Joe's as well, just one whole tomato, which might have been a little excessive. You can kind of put as much or as little as you want. Then we're going to mix it up and add salt and pepper to taste and then pour it into our uh, pie pan. I also wanted to add bacon because what is a quiche without bacon? So I already uh, cooked the bacon and now I'm cutting it and I'm just going to sprinkle it on top of our quiche followed by some shredded cheese. After you're done cheesing it, you're going to bake it in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 40 minutes. So this is the second time we're recording this because like a great husband, I deleted the other video. But in regards to the quiche, it was terrible. It was really dry, kind of bland tasting. Is it a Pinterest win or a Pinterest fail? Neither. And would you want me to make it again? No. Okay, you heard it from the man himself. It is not husband approved. Bummer. Okay, so it wasn't the best recipe we've made on Pinterest before, but that is to be expected when you're trying all these recipes. You never know which one's good or bad. This is a perfect example of why you should watch my channel so you don't make the mistake of making these things yourself. Um, here's the thing though. We all have different taste buds, so something may taste bad to me, but it may taste good to you. Um, I'm just kind of letting you know what we thought of it and the general just of this recipe in particular, I feel like it had a little too much milk. I think it was a little too runny and I think it needed less milk. I also think that because I used an entire tomato, um, it got a little watered down from the inside of the tomato. So maybe I would opt out 
to just doing the outer part of the tomato opposed to the inner guts. In terms of the crust, the crust was gross. The crust was not good. Yes, not good is a synonym of gross. Um, I think that it was because I used whole wheat flour. However, I didn't feel guilty eating it because I knew it was a better option for me to eat, but I think that I will just stick to scrambled eggs in the future. Um, also, side note, you should know that in my oven it took 45 minutes and the direction said to do 30 to 40 minutes and I set it at 35 and I kind of watched it for the next 10 minutes. So that was really annoying because I was like, is the middle ever going to set? I don't know, Then I took 45 minutes, so keep that in mind if you do decide to make this, which I don't recommend you do. However, we did salvage the egg mixture because we made burritos out of it. So, this is what we thought of the quiche with the super easy whole wheat crust. The title is good though, it is true. The crust was super easy and it was whole wheat, so good job on being truthful in the title. But anyways, I would not be making this again. I don't recommend making this yourself either, but if you do decide to make it anyway, let me know what you thought. Again, as always, subscribe to my channel for more and um, let me know if there's any recipes you want me to make in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you